Digital Watchdog Rapid Review back in your lives. Thank you for the click, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Scott Capaletti. Today's episode is about Digital Watchdog Spectrum updates, what they bring to the table, and how to do them the best way, the most efficient way, the way that tech support and sales engineers do it. Can't wait to get into that. Before we do, a quick public service announcement. In preparing for this episode, I thought of an old proverb I once heard. And that proverb went like this. The best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is today. So obviously, they're not referring to trees when they say that. What are they talking about? They're talking about seizing the day. Carpe diem. I'm talking about updates, but I think it's very apropos. I'm here begging you all to update your spectrum systems, your cameras, everything, as soon as possible. Now, if you're watching this episode, you fit into one of two camps. And I want to address you both. Either you're A, like me, being you love updates, you hunt for updates, you go out and you find the updates, maybe like me every Monday and Friday. You go looking for updates and you update your entire world as often as possible. I got some stuff for you on this episode, so hang out one second. But I want to talk to the other camp. And you are the trepidatious people. You're the people that say to me when I push this, when I'm on the phone with you, when I'm in a meeting with you, you say, Scott, I hear what you're saying about the updates, but why would I want to do an update when everything's running fine? Everything's smooth. Why would I want to potentially introduce a hiccup into my system? I'm here to tell you, if you update the right way, you can lean on us. Everything's going to be fine because these updates, sometimes they're just tertiary. Sometimes it's just about changing the color, changing the icon. But more often than not, there's so much that we put into these updates behind the scenes that you need, and you may not even know that you need it. Let me give you, for instance, from Spectrum 4.2, which is a very old version of Spectrum now. We're up to 5.1. There's been many updates in between. We're not even a full revision later. From 4.2 to 5.1, we have over 240 line items that we have changed in those updates. Now, some of those 240 things are security that we've put in there to make it even more secure than it already was. Some of it was improving the look and feel. Sure, there's, there's a lot of that in there. Some of it's making everything faster and smoother for you. Sometimes it's about the integrations. It's about compatibility with our own cameras, let alone the thousands of cameras that Digital Watchdog Spectrum works with. Sometimes it's about compatibility with the cloud. There's so much that goes into these updates, but especially right now, as the time of this video, we are pushing out and releasing the Digital Watchdog AI analytic experience. If you have a regular Blackjack server today, if you update it all the way, you can go out and buy an AI camera, a Digital Watchdog AI camera right now. If you update your Spectrum and get the latest, greatest, powerful analytics in your system today. So these updates are wide ranging. Why do we do them for so many different reasons? I'm here to say, trust it, believe in it, stand on us. You will love the results. So let's talk about how to get these updates the professional way. Let's dive into it. I'm going to start sharing my screen over here. First and foremost, you're going to go to our website. So what I'm going to show you, there's a couple extra clicks to get the updates and to do the updates the way I want you to. But it's worth it because it actually saves time in the long run. You go to digital-watchdog.com. You select products. Then you select software. Then I want you to click on DW Spectrum IP VMS. You click on that, it brings you to this very powerful microsite. You're going to hit the download button. Now, what this does is brings you to this page. Now, this page, I have it saved. Every time I open up Chrome, this is what pops up. It's one of the many things that I have automatically pop up in my Chrome. Now, we're going to talk about how to do the update over here, but real quick, let's address the middle of the screen. What you have over here, how cool is this? You are now getting the ability to download the latest version of Spectrum regardless of your operating system. The latest version is displayed right here. What's new is where we're going in about 30 seconds, but here's your latest version. You want to download the client. We're not talking about updating the machine just yet, but we will be in a second. But the client, your gateway into Spectrum to view it from the outside world, well, here it is. There's the Windows version. There's the Linux version. There's the Mac version all in one place. 
so easy. Now, the old school way of updating is down here. Ignore that. We're going to show you the new school way of doing it, but for your client to allow you to see Spectrum from anywhere, there's where you install it. So easy. Love that. All right, let's get into it. The old way of, of updating a system, you download the client and the server, and then you have to go through the whole Windows updating process and all that jazz, and you want to remove files, uninstall, all that. Forget that. We're not going to do that anymore. The way you want to do it is by hitting this What's New button right here. Now, what's that? It's, what that is going to do is it's going to break down this update. It's going to show you. I mean, I mentioned there's over 240 lines, line items from 4.2 to where we are today at 5.1, and here they all are. But at the top of the screen, you'll see the latest version. So here's the latest version right there. Here's everything we did. If you scroll down just a little bit, right before you get to the next release note, you'll see where it says in-client upgrade. This is the path you want to take. What you need to do is write down or copy and paste that build number and password. Write it down or put it into a notepad, wherever you want to put it, because that's what you're going to need to update it the professional way. Once you have that information, you're going to go over to Spectrum. So here is Spectrum. Right now, we are live in Cerritos, California right now. But I want to bring up, before I bring up a recording that our corporate office sent us, which thank you very much, Patrick, David, and Sung Ho. Appreciate it. Uh, before I bring it up, I just want to say, usually when you get to this point, when you open up Spectrum, we will push updates out to you. And it'll say, an update's available, hit OK to continue. And you can choose to update it that way. But I want to say something, another public service announcement. Just because it didn't pop up on your screen doesn't mean that there's not an update available. You go up here and hit this little menu button up here. Go to System Administration. Go to Updates. Now, this one is completely up to date. I'm going to show you how we got here. But there are going to be times when you log into a system and it's going to show an older version of Spectrum here and it's going to say you're up to date. So my point is this, Here, here's how we do this. When we release an update, we push it out by individual territory. So we don't wanna cram up the servers, cram up the connection, so we slowly push it out. My point is, even if this says you're up to date, double check and make sure. So there it is right there, 5.1.438659. So I wanna make sure I'm good to go. You go back to your release notes at the top, 5.1.4.38659. So we are up to date here. Yesterday, we weren't. I'm going to show you how simple this is. So let me go back here and let's start sharing this screen. So again, thanks to Sung Ho, Patrick, and David for doing this for me. We go to the update button. You could see it was not up to date. You simply type in the version number that you just wrote down or copy and paste it. You type in the password, hit select version. Look how simple this is. And by the way, what you're seeing here, you hit the download button. This is a merge system. So you can do this on individual systems for sure, but here we have three servers in California, one server down in Florida, one click, and we're updating all of them at the same time. Download, done, hit the install update button, and now we're pushing the update. Across multiple states, we're doing this update. And by the way, it automatically, when you do it this way, will look through the servers and say, all right, this one's a Linux one, this one's a Windows one, and it pushes the right update to it. I had a friend growing up that taught me taking the time it takes, takes less time. So we took a little bit extra time, right? We went to the website. We found where this build number and password was. We took a few extra moments, but then look what we're doing here. We're taking the time it takes to take less time. It'll do it all for you. Now this could, and I'm leaving this on the screen for a moment. This could take up to five minutes. It's totally normal. What I need you to do is sit back and relax and chill. And trust it. Because the last thing you want to do, obviously, is cancel out an update in the, in the middle of an update. Now, keep this in mind as well. If you have some servers that update like this in seconds and others that take a couple minutes like this one is doing, that's normal too. Because if it's a brand new server, the update will take no time. If it's a server that has six months of footage, it may take a little bit for it to do it. But just sit back and watch. As you can see, we've already... Uh, did two updates. It's rebooting those servers automatically. We got two other updates that are being done right now. It's very simple. I can even fast forward a little bit just so you can see the end, but I want you to know that this is normal. Sit around and wait for it. So we'll fast forward. We'll go through it. Look, I mean, look at this. I'll rewind it a little bit. Look at this happening. Like magic. 
Everything gets up to date. We have one more that's happening. The other ones come back to life automatically. You see your screen changing. You see the cameras coming back. And then if we fast forward again, it reboots the machine for you automatically, or at least restarts the media server, I should say. And before you know it, we'll go back a little bit. Look at that. Update complete. Four servers. Updated just like that. Whether it's a single system or a merge system, this is the way. Do it by the build number. Do it by the password that I showed you. And you could do it from anywhere in the world. As long as you have a connection to that system, you could do it from anywhere in the world. It's that easy, ladies and gentlemen. What did we learn? We learned that updates are important. In the world of technology, updates are everything. We're ever growing and expanding. And if we're going to do a digital watchdog system, if we're going to have a digital watchdog system that makes life so much easier like Spectrum does, why not utilize that update process that's so Spectrum-esque. Many more rapid reviews on the way, shooting one right after this one. I hope to see you there. Until then, my name is Scott Capaletti, and this has been your Rapid Review.